Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultric Tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the uh, Union Tool. The uh, Union Tool is found in the purple join category. It uh, pairs nicely with the join tool. Um, it's also one of our favorite tools. So we're going to look at the example that Alteryx provides us with our copy of Designer like we always do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab a Union Tool and connect it to our first stream of data. We're also going to connect it to our second stream. The Union Tool is going to take these streams of data and stack them on top of each other based on uh, commonalities in the field. So uh, we're going to see that our two uh, sources of data have four um, fields that all have the uh, same name, stream number, ID, first name, and last name. We're going to auto configure by name and just stack these right on top of each other. Nice and neat. So very, very, very easy to use here. Um, again, just uh, auto configuring by name and we get all four of these. In the next example, we're going to have uh, two sets of fields with uh, different names, but the same information in them. So we're still using that first input that's got uh, stream number, ID, first name, and last name. We're going to change to auto config by position and hit the run button. And we're going to see that we've uh, taken our first set of data and our second set of data that has different field names, but they're in the same order of stream number, ID, first name, and last name, and just stack them on top of each other uh, very, very nicely. Next up, we're going to look at manually configuring the fields. We're going to use this when we have the same information, but we have different field names and a different order of the fields as well. So uh, looking at our data here, again, remember we're looking for stream number, ID, first name, last name. And it looks like we have last name, first name, stream number, ID. So uh, we're going to want field three, field four, field two, field one. So three, four, two, one is the order we're looking for. After we change to manually configure fields, we can just use the arrows to select our fields and move them over to the proper position. So again, we're looking for field three, field four, field two, and finally field one to line up with stream number, ID, first name, last name. And that's what we get here for our output. Looking good. I love the union tool, it's a great tool. Uh, the next usage of the union tool is uh, also one of my favorites. Um, so uh, we're going to auto config by name, but one of our data streams is gonna have an extra column it's going to have a gender column. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to say when the fields differ, ignore, because I know that I have an extra field and we want to output all fields. Um, you will get a warning if you leave that when fields differ warning. But you'll see that off to the right, we now have this extra gender field for male and female for our second data stream that is going to uh, make, the, make the field exist for the first data stream but it's going to be all nulls. Now, if we only wanted to output the common subset of records, we could do that as well. So um, let's go ahead and grab another union tool, connect it to the same two data streams, but we're gonna set up our union a little bit different. We are going to, again, say ignore and continue processing, but this time we only wanna output the common subset of fields. So it's gonna completely drop off that gender field that we had before doesn't exist here. We're only keeping the fields that exist in all of our data streams that are coming into the union. Now, um, like I said at the beginning um, of this video, we can also, sorry, we can also set a specific output order here. Um, if we want to, we can change the way that they're stacked. So at the beginning of the video, I told you that the join and union go really well together. So we're going to look at an example of a union, an example of a join. We also have a join video on our uh, page. So like we've been talking about, the union stacks our data on top of each other, while the join is going to take two sets of data and put the rows next to each other, either based on the position they come in or more commonly based on a specific field. So here we joined based on ID and we put, our, um, we put our fields right next to each other. We can see any uh, instances of our IDs not matching up, but in this case,
Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.